Tonight's side reporters, Phil Schumann and Carla Aragon. This is News for LA, Night Side. Good evening, everyone. We're on a few minutes early tonight because of programming irregular, uh, irregularities after the World Series. Topping the news tonight, motion picture and television star John Eric Hexum is in critical condition tonight, a victim of a freak accident. Phil Schumann is standing by live at the Beverly Hills Medical Center. He has the latest for us. Phil? Well, what happened is that John Eric Hexum accidentally wounded himself in the head when he fired a gun loaded with blanks on the set of his television series, Close Up. We're at the Beverly Hills Medical Center, about a mile, less than a mile, in fact, from the 20th Century Fox TV studios where the accident happened about 5.15 this afternoon. Hexum is in surgery right now. He is in critical condition with some type of a wound to his head. Very little detail has been released about exactly how this accident has happened, but we have talked with the hospital people and the television folks here, and we've been able to piece together an account of this accident. Let's take a look at that story now. The accident happened during a break in the filming of Hexum's new series, Cover Up. The 26-year-old actor reportedly picked up a prop pistol loaded with blanks and fired it at or near his temple. The force of the explosion almost killed him. I wouldn't know because I, 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 I'm not, I can't put myself into his head and I, I really don't know what motivated him uh, and what prompted him to play with the, with, with the uh, weapon. Hexum was rushed from the 20th Century Fox lot to nearby Beverly Hills Medical Center, where he underwent several hours of surgery by a team of neurosurgeons. Hospital officials say Hexum is young and strong, and that's helping keep him alive. At this time, all I can say is that his vital signs are real strong, and they've been strong all the way through, and that he's doing very well so far in the surgery. As I said, Hexum is a 26-year-old actor. He's really coming into his own as far as the television series goes this year. He is not married. His mother has just arrived. She has flown in from Las Vegas, and I understand that a brother of John Eric's has just arrived or will be arriving from Boston. He has been in surgery since about 8 o'clock this evening, and uh, Patricia Firestone, that nursing supervisor who you just saw, said it will be several hours before the team of neurosurgeons has finished their work. She would not disclose again the exact type of injury it is, whether it's a, a wound to the head, whether it's a burn mark, whether it's a bruise. But again, I want to stress that it was not a bullet. It was rather a load of blanks, possibly from a 44 Magnum type gun, which, uh, which is a very powerful handgun. So it will be several hours before we know the extent of his injuries and his prognosis. But to repeat what the nurses said, his vital signs are stable, and that can only be taken as a very good sign. Reporting live, Phil Schumann, News 4, Los Angeles. Nick and Tricia. Thanks very much, Phil. Five people are reported dead tonight in a shover up. Mac and Danny uncover a deadly drug smuggling scheme. Couldn't have just been a crime of passion? We've got the touch for action, Saturday night. Listed now in very critical condition tonight, Hexum was rushed to the hospital last Friday after he put a prop gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Even though that gun was loaded with blanks, it did massive damage to his brain. We have more on that tonight and the safety of guns when used with blanks from reporter Paul Dandridge. There are growing indications tonight that Hexum will not survive his accidental Russian roulette style shooting. That in fact his brain may no longer be alive. He is being kept alive tonight by a ventilator, an indication that his brain's breathing center has been damaged. The gun, a 44 Magnum like this one. Hexum loaded three harmless empty cartridges and two blanks. Before putting the gun to his head, Hexum reportedly said, let's see if I've got one for me. Hexum did not know that the blanks made of gunpowder, cardboard, and wax can be very dangerous. Yeah. If you fire a blank, uh, the gauze, the uh, wax, or the cardboard is, it comes out. Unlike a lead slug that is a bullet that would fly and penetrate, uh, this comes out with enough concussion to really hurt somebody. A full-loaded 44. A full-loaded 44 blank could kill somebody. Again, Hexum used a 44 Magnum. In this demonstration, a 38 blank was fired. As you can see, the explosion can do a lot of damage. The nursing supervisor here at the hospital tonight told me that Hexum is on a ventilator, that he needs that to stay alive. At the same time, the hospital is saying that tomorrow a major announcement, a decision will be made on Mr. Hexum. The speculation tonight is that he would be taken off that machinery. Reporting from the Beverly Hills Medical Center, Paul Dandridge, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. A story in our news studio. Mary, apparently Hexum had no chance of survival from the very beginning. His doctor said when the co-star of the TV series covered up, fired a 44 Magnum loaded with blanks into his right temple, the force of the explosion drove a piece of the skull deep into the brain. 
The police have listed it an accident. The official announcement of death came this morning. At 7.31 on October 18th, John Eric Hexham was declared dead. Mr. Hexham was transferred to a Northern California hospital at 1.15 this morning, where the, at his wish and the wish of his family, his heart, kidneys, and corneas were donated for transplant purposes. The actor had not been working in Hollywood very long. In fact, he was just beginning to make his mark. John Eric Hexham got his big break just two years ago in the NBC series Voyagers. The show didn't last long, but Hexham's career definitely was on the upswing. Next came the TV movie, The Making of a Male Model with Joan Collins. And Hexham fit the role perfectly. Your martini's getting warm. And I'm getting cold. The young actor capitalized on his image as a male sex symbol. But Hexham worked hard at his craft. He graduated from Michigan State University with a degree in philosophy. He played piano in New York while looking for acting jobs. Hexham knew his looks were important. It gets you the opportunity to read for the job. Hey, after that, you're, you're on your own. Where are all the good men gone and John Eric's next big break, co-starring with Jennifer O'Neill in the CBS series Cover Up. Hexum played an undercover agent, but the actor kept a sense of humor about his TV role. The uh, character I play is kind of a cross between Hawkeye on, on MASH, James Bond, Indiana Jones, and Superman. Little Mr. Magoo thrown in there. Movie audiences saw a different Hexum in the film The Bear, starring Gary Busey as football coach Bear Bryant. I noticed your marks are pretty good. Thank you. Well, I'm serious about being a doctor. Ever since I was a kid. Uh, you gonna go right to med school or uh, no time out for pros? Or... Uh uh, right to med school. <laughs> John Eric Hexum, his career was just starting to take off. But his heart is beating tonight inside the chest of an unidentified man in San Francisco. That heart is only part of Hexum's living legacy. And as Paul Dandridge reports from the Bay Area, Hexum's death is a loss for his family, friends, and fans, but it has created the possibility of life for other people. Hexum's body arrived at the Pacific Presbyterian Medical Center early this morning. A series of tests confirmed that a 37-year-old man from out of state could receive his heart. It would match up. But it was not until early tonight that all the organs were removed and the heart transplant completed. The operation started about 2.30, and it's just concluding now about four hours later. So it's about a four-hour operation. Everything has gone very well with the transplant, and the, uh, the patient, we understand, is doing well. Because of Hexham's family's decision, five people will have their lives greatly improved or, in fact, saved. At a time of such a tragedy, it is a very giving act. When someone of this renown um, becomes a donor and their families have done this really incredible thing, that that will have a tremendously positive impact on the general public. A lot of people will consider donation for the first time ever. Hexham's body will be returned to Los Angeles and first to the coroner who has jurisdiction in a case like this, an accidental shooting. And finally, on to his family, who will know that because of what happened here today, at least a part of John Eric Hexham will Five, live on. Four. Reporting from San Francisco, Paul Dandridge, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Hexham's co-star on the show cover-up, Jennifer O'Neill, issued a statement today. O'Neill called Hexham's death a personal tragedy and a loss for everyone who worked with him on that show. Studio officials at 20th Century Fox, though saddened by Hexham's death, have said that their show will go on. Auditions for his replacement on cover-up have already begun, and the studio has shot around his part in the episode that was in production at the time of his tragic accident. Hexham's death has also brought up new questions about the use of firearms on Hollywood sets. The guns are real, not toys. The property master is in charge of storing them and the blanks in a locked cabinet. He is there to make sure safeguards are taken. The biggest safeguard is that the weapon should never be pointed at a person. It's either pointed down or to the side, especially used in close range, which is within 20 feet. I definitely don't feel it was a problem man's fault. The, um, a lot of times actors feel that they, this is something that they're working with and they want to use it, and you can't really second guess what the actor is doing. That was Tim Schultz, who is a property manager here on the lot at ABC in Hollywood. Schultz is not connected in any way to the show that Hexham was starring in.